This is a quick description on how to make the interface cable for the Grass Valley uh, control panel to interface into the um, Arduino it can either be the the Mega, which is this one with the um, Ethernet uh, connector on top, um, or it can be the uh, Ether Mega, which is just a single board. Um, as you can see on here, um, I've custom made a clamp plate, and in here, if we can focus, in here you can see there's a um, uh, that's 36 pin uh, right angle. Uh, see if we can see this way, right angle um, header to allow the male connector to come out, and of course it gets clamped in. It's got a keyway there. Now with these cables. Um, if you uh, 40 40 way ribbon cable easy to get uh, and a 40 pin header on this is a completed one up here um, 40 pin header there um, in the middle on, on one end there's a 20 pin uh, header there which goes to J2 on the uh, GVG control panels electronics and then on the end I've got a um, 37 pin which is only there for people who need to access tallies and GPIs and other expansion devices that um, I have including extended tally. Um, now um, I normally start off with the, um, um, the 40 pin IDC connector first um, and it's um, pin 1 is there and as you can see, I, I, I put the cable in from from this side, and then once the cable, once it's crimped, I then um, put the clamp on on top so that it goes out that way. That way, there when it go, plugs into the board, you can see the keyway is on the top there. So if I can get a shine on it, there you go. There's the keyway, and that keyway will then sit into that slot there so that you always ensure correct orientation. Um, the last four pins uh, over here, because it's only 36, the last four pins um, I blank. Um, and in fact, I, um, I actually use a, um, I'll just show, show, quickly show you here, for you, all you 3D printing freaks. If you get a, um, a little draw thing like this and put a bit of um, um, filament in, 3D printer filament in here, and just... Um, Turn it on and, um, and then drill. I uh, drill that into the last four connect, the last four pins of the plug here to uh, to fill them in with plastic so that you don't accidentally plug it in the wrong way. But you don't have to do that if you're careful. You can also just put bits of wire in there to stop them from being plugged in. But it's not as though it's a daily occurrence that you're plugging into the back of this thing here. Um, well, incidentally, that that there's a plate that I make because um, when I cut out the the back of the GVG, the Grass Valley panels. I cut out a, I just do a rough cut and then this covers the roughness um, and um, in fact a quick, a quick walk over here and um, I'll show you a completed panel with that, um, with that um, plugged in. Here's a completed panel and as you can see there, there's that, there's the plate there uh, and that's where the DB37 connector goes and I've also got a, another plate there. And, um, so you don't have to be very finesse and accurate about cutting out the the hole where the panel go where the where the um, Arduino goes uh, because the plate covers up any any um, roughness at all. Anyway, getting back to the cable. So as you can see, the orientation, the red wire is going up to pin one. There's a down arrow there, um, pin one, um, and then uh, this cable is is approximately 50 centimeters long. Um, and if I get my ruler out, the connector, the 20 pin connector in the middle, um, is at about 228 uh, centimeters. 28 centimeters, and for all those people in inches, oh, this one doesn't have inches. I can't get, can't give you that one, but you can do the math on that one. Now, just this a quick note on this 20 pin connector: you have to remove. I'll see if I can get a close up down here. You have to remove. Focus here. Um, turn it around this way, you can see it a bit better. Mm -hmm. You can see there's pin one there, 
um, and you have to remove the first three pins on this side being pins one two and three because they um, actually have other signals on them don't know if you can see it any better there um, yeah you can see that the pins have been removed um, this is before you crimp okay so so when you put the connector on um, the cable you first of all you've got to bypass the first two wires because they carry volts they got they carry the five volts out to um, the end or out to um, pins one and whatever it is 16 or 17 something or 18 on on the db um, 37 connector and um, um, so we bypass those and then we use the next 20, 20 wires and as you can see I split the cable um, and with these connectors once you split the cable you can put one of these in oh, the wrong one hang on one of these ones one of these in from behind um, and then you put the IDC 20 pin connector in now you notice pin 1 is at the opposite end. Pin 1 is down this end um, away from the red wire. So you've got the keyway there and pin 1 is there. So if you do that, that should be fine. Um, now um, once, you, once you've once crimped the connector on then you've got to fold the cable back over which is allows for the cable clamp and in folding over you want it to fold that way. So there's your uh, 40 pin you want to fold it back that way now the reason for that is because when the connector goes plugs into the GVG panel you want the cable to come out the correct way and um, and by doing it that way with pin one there when it goes into the panel it will come out nice and easy for you to uh, um, to tuck all cables in once the panel is complete um, so that's very basically what it's all about and um, any questions send me an email well, just incidentally on the db37 side there's only 37 pins so the last three wires which don't go anywhere because if you remember um, we've blanked the pins out on the um, on this end here on the um, on the arduino end the, the last four pins are blanked out so the last three wires don't go anywhere i mean you can tear them off if you want i leave them there because i might come up with an idea to use them somewhere along the line um, yeah, so then your 37 pin you go in there, your red wire goes up to pin 1. And um, and of course you can put a cable clamp on the back of that as well if you want. It's, it's not really necessary, but um, you can do all that. I hope that helps. And um, 